Hey, what's up, Reefers? This is super cool. So, you see the pistol shrimp continue digging a tunnel, right? That's a burrow right there in the back. But you've seen this before. So, this is not new if you're a subscriber to the channel. But, what is new? Let's see if he goes. Okay, but what, uh, see, look, watch where he's going. He's, he's like digging a trench, right? To this area. And if I swing up, you see that they dug another tunnel. They dug another entrance right there. Actually, it's a really large entrance. I have no idea how that pistol shrimp prop the entrance open because that part of the tank is all just loose sand it's no gravel at all but somehow he was able to maintain that opening and now I think he's just kind of working on um, a nice little tunnel to go to the other entrance it's actually really rare to see him completely exposed like this and I guess the Yashagobi is a standing guard just in case because this guy right here, the green clown goby, is a pretty mean sucker. He goes after the last pistol shrimp, a tiny little guy, he went after. So I know he's a shrimp, shrimp eater, and this pistol shrimp is still really small in, com in comparison. So. so he is working the trench. And I think he's trying to connect the two entrances. You see how the Yashigobi's on like full alert. Usually they kind of swim around a little bit, but now when the shrimp is out, they just kind of stand right in front of the trenches, like standing guard, making sure everything is okay. That is so cool. It looks like the pistol shrimp is using the little legs to kind of push the sand away to create a little trench. And that entrance, I did not even see it yesterday, last night. So this must have happened like this, from this morning till right now. Now it's like a night. And the pistol shrimp actually got a little bit bigger than uh, when I first got it. Probably doubled in size. So it probably molted once. And it's only been what, a month, month and a half? Really, really cool. All right, let me swing, swing around so I'll show you guys the outer entrance. So as you can see, it's actually quite big. It's much larger than the entrance of my, uh, of the current burrow. So there's a little trench and I have no idea what it's like on that side because I mean just a tiny corner of the tank. I'm just going to swing back around and watch from here. Uh, I can't really see it. Yeah, I think here is probably the best, best way to see this. But it's just so cool. And notice as soon as the pistol shrimp left the surface the fish just kind of hovered away and uh, they hover in, in mid-air to wait for food to pass by and they're probably a little bit more sensitive right now because I, I just uh, fed the tank flake not too long ago so they're just kind of hovering when we're waiting for food see there's a shrimp, wait a minute, how did the shrimp get there? I wonder if the tunnel is connected under the sand as well or well, maybe the shrimp are just really quick and just kind of shoveled his way back while I was on the other side of the tank but yeah see notice how when the shrimp is out the fish just kind of land and stand guard how awesome is that I think personally this symbiotic um, behavior is a little bit more interesting than clown and anatomy Probably because the shrimp is a little bit more interactive as well. 
I'm not saying that clown anatomy is not cool. This is just more interesting to look at. Yeah, I mean, if there's some way to see like how, just how elaborate these burrows are, that would be cool. And how does the pistol shrimp kind of keep the burrow from collapsing when I didn't really provide any um, building material? I really should drop some like gravel, like crushed crush, uh, crush corals or just like shells in there. But I haven't done it and somehow this little guy made it work. Amazing. I can't wait to see what it built from my three weeks away. And seriously, this entry just showed up today. It's crazy. I'm really tempted to set up like a webcam pointing at the tank. Maybe two webcams. One just like overview, the other one just like at that little corner. Just so I can kind of keep an eye out and see what's, what's happening in the tank and what's going on. Cool, right? And this is why I can just sit in front of my tank and just zone out for like an hour. Alright guys, I'm going to grab some food and let these little guys work. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys later.